Hello kids, in this video, I will be explaining the chapter Ivan's story by Catherine Applegate. This story is taken from the novel The One and Only Ivan written by Catherine Applegate. It is based on a real gorilla. Let's know about Catherine Applegate. Catherine Alice Applegate is an American writer for children and young people. Applegate's most popular books are science fiction, fantasy, and adventure novels. She won the 2013 Newbery Medal for her 2012 children's novel, The One and Only Ivan. This is the picture of real Ivan. Let's start with the chapter. Ivan's Story Ivan, the gorilla, tells a part of the story of his life in this extract. He was born in Central Africa in a rainforest which was so beautiful that no matter how hard we tried, we would not be able to paint such a beautiful rainforest. Now, unlike humans, gorilla do not name their newborns right away. They keep a watch on their kid's activity and according to his behavior and interest, they name their kid. Ivan was born with his tw twin sister. His parents called his sister Tag because she loved to chase her brother most of the time. Ivan was named Mud because he loved to draw pictures on rocks, barks of the trees and also on his mother's back for which he used the liquid of the plants or trees, fruit juices but most of the time he used mud. Their father a silver-backed gorilla was the head of their troop, which can be recognized from his white or silver hair across its back. It was a family of 10 members. Ivan's father, Silverback, his mother along with three adult female gorillas, a young ma male called Blackback, along with two other young male gorillas, Tang and Ivan were the babies of the family. Ivan's father, the silverback used to teach them how to search for the ripest fruit, how to make a perfect nest, weave it tightly so that it should not fall down while asleep. They should know how to beat their chest. So, he was like a guide, a teacher and a protector. As the babies grew older and learned to stay away from the mother, to learn to cope as adults, they were trapped by the people in a compact wooden box and taken away. Mud realized quickly that he had to forget his family and his natural way of life if he wanted to survive. Tag was unable to do that. She kept thinking about her family, about the life in jungle, so she became sad and depressed and might have stopped eating, so she fell very ill. Mud was raised like a human baby by a person called Mac and his wife, Helen. He initially found everything new and strange and often felt lost. He was treated well. He used to sleep in human beds, sat on chairs, used to drink from bottle. He grew up like any other mischievous child, loved and corrected. Helen often used to get angry on him as he broke the blender broke his toes while swinging from a lamp fixture and also broke 46 glasses. We can say that he was kept so nicely because he was not kept in a house always. He used to visit restaurants, baseball games, theatres and also to the circus. Though appeared ha happy living among humans, he often longed for the life he had known as a gorilla among gorillas. He kept reminding himself what had happened to Tag and continued to adjust to his new life among humans. After some years, he was shifted to the shopping mall where he was a center of attraction to many people. After the protest about Ivan's condition in the mall, he was adopted by a zoo. Thank you, children.